Hello guys and welcome back to the vlog. Now that it is September, it is officially fall season. Even though it's a million degrees in Florida, but we can pretend. I am one of those people where fall is like September and October for me. And as soon as October 31st, ends it is christmas season so while these months last i am trying to fit in as much fall and halloween vibes into my life as possible so we're doing a full fall day today starting off with creating candles at Bose signature candles here in disney springs we actually got invited out today to check out their new fall scents create a candle and this is actually my third time doing this here and i absolutely love it it is such a fun activity so fun if you're coming to disney and like don't want to spend a day in the parks but want to still feel the disney vibes and take home a really cute souvenir i highly highly recommend it so i'm super excited also these candles last like forever i swear where I still have mine from Valentine's Day and it is still kicking. I do use a candle warmer, so that, that could be it. But I'm really excited. We're gonna go do that first. And then later tonight, we are doing a Halloween bar that is here in Orlando. It's like a pop-up bar. They also have a Christmas one that I went to last year, but I've never done their Halloween one. So I am really excited. I've been trying to go for like the last couple of days and every single day, I'm just like, uh, I don't wanna get up and get ready and leave my house. But now that I am already ready for these candles, I have no excuse. And then hopefully we'll sprinkle in a couple more fall fun activities throughout the day. We'll see what we end up doing, but I'm really excited. I'm just waiting for Tamia to get here. I got invited to this together, so she should be here any minute, and then we'll go down and check out all the new fall scents. This is the store we're going to today. If you guys have never been here, it's right next to AMC and Splitsville, but let's go inside. Here are all their new Halloween scents. These are actually limited edition, so they only have, I think, 150 of them before they sell out. So so definitely run here if you want them. They are so cute, but let's see which one which one I like the best. We're told that this one was the best seller so far, so everyone seems to love it, and it does have the cutest little leaves on top. I'm obsessed. Tamia says this one smells clean. She's wrong. No, it literally smells like it smells really good. It may be like a hint of spicy, but it just it smells, smells like clean. Fall. It smells no. like fall. It literally just smells clean. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what this one smells like. Like a flower, maybe? Is it? I mean, maybe I mean, a little. Maybe biased by the label, but <laughs> no, it maybe it does smell like floral. But there's something else in there. <laughs> What's in here? We might have to ask what's in all of them. Mm -hmm. I also have more candles that aren't just their special edition. These ones I think stay here all season long, but they're pumpkin ones. But anything that is special edition will say it on the label, and those are the ones that they only have 150 of. Okay, last limited edition. It's trick or treat. At first we thought like mint, but I don't think that's right. I think it's a candy scent. It's really good. <laughs> I just don't think I am a professional candle sniffer just yet. And here's the station to make our candles in. A ton of scents for us to pick from. So I actually do have two ideas for how I want to decorate this. I thought of this beforehand. Okay, she said. So, there's two options, right? Option one, fall. Fall leaves, little pumpkins, cute white candle or something, like orange candle maybe. Option two, ghosts. Little ghosties. And then do like a black candle on the inside. That would be really cute. Okay. So we'll do ghosties. That's probably like ghosties. easier to draw too. That's such a good idea. Because both of these are based on my incredible drawing skills that I have in my head. So maple leaves are definitely up right up your alley. No, of course. Okay, but we'll do ghosties. And then we'll try to get our candle as dark as possible on the inside. Of sense today, then they pull out all of these to pick from. So we've got a lot of choices. Someone please tell me how to say that. Oh, I do like this. Right? It's really good. I'm not a big cedar wood fan, but I like that. Okay, I'm gonna try the cedar wood. You know what it smells like? Mm -hmm. New apartment. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, please finish. Take your time. <laughs> yeah. Let me see. 
<laughs> so I'm doing sweet pea, apple, and oat wood, and then Tamia and I are sharing the apple, oat wood, and she's doing it with peony. So we have to pick basically how much of each set we want. We need to do one ounce, and I am kind of inclined to make them equal this time around. I don't know. It's looking a little pinkish to me though. Or am I crazy? We're adding a little bit of purple to mine to see if it'll darken it. Because when you think of like black pens, yeah, they have like they have purple in them. They have some blue in them. And also so. if it does come out a little purpley, like it goes to be Halloween. Halloween. Yeah. Okay, so the top one was our original dot for how it would look. And the bottom one is after we added the purple. So I think that is a lot better. It's still definitely like gray, but it's a lot closer to black. So we have to leave our candles in there for like 30 to 40 minutes for them to dry before we can come back and pick them up. So I think we're just gonna go over to World of Disney and look at some of the new merch. Look how cute the new weighted plushies are. Oh my god, wait. The Dumbo? I love him. I also have some fall drinks. This spiced pear potion looks really good actually. Is this a fall menu too? Yeah, it looks like it. So I ended up getting their spiced pear potion, which is Captain Morgan original spiced rum, pear nectar, lemon juice, and a cinnamon simple syrup. And then Tamia's is not on the Halloween menu. It's the Reggie's Revenge. Yeah, I can. but she is very Halloween vibes. Has like a minty flavor in the back, but I, there's nothing minty that's supposed to be in here. Interesting. We finished our food and drinks. Now we're heading back to Bo's to grab our candles. Got our candles. Look how good they look. It is so hot outside today. I think we're gonna go home. Probably take a quick shower to get rid of all this sweat, and then we're gonna change. Maybe go to Barnes and Nobles, and then head to that Halloween bar that I was telling you guys about earlier. I know book shopping isn't a fall exclusive activity, but it does feel right coming here today on our fall outing. This Barnes & Noble also still has the original Barnes & Noble's look, so I love coming in here. I was just saying how I want to buy these books so bad just because of the spray edges. I also do love Anna Huang, but then I saw this bad boy with the kisses. I have never heard of this book before, so somebody please tell me if it's any good. I also really want to buy this one with the purple sprayed edges, but I am on a book buying ban right now. And I have too many books at home that I need to read. Well, I'm not on a full ban. I am still here looking for books, if I'm being honest. Wait, I've never seen this before. It's like the most beautiful Hunger Games book with illustrations on the inside. It is so pretty. Hold on, I'm trying to find another one. This is gorgeous. I'm trying to find the 25th anniversary Harry Potter books. I'm pretty sure it said it was available online, but I'm like not even finding any Harry Potter books right now. I have no idea where they would be. I've checked the young adult section. I've checked fantasy. I've checked the font, which is usually where they keep all I like the new stuff and I'm not finding anything. Also shout out to another beautiful sprayed edge. If someone who's read this, please tell me if this is any good. It was in the children's section, hence why I could never find it. But look how pretty these are. I might grab a second one for my sister. So surely if you're watching this, I'm sorry. Um, you're not getting it until Christmas, but I love them. Okay, I'm also grabbing the games God's Play because this is too pretty to leave behind. I've also heard really good reviews about it. So it's not like I'm just getting a book solely for the sprayed edges, but that's gonna look beautiful on a shelf. Got the goods, look how pretty she is. I don't know if I ever really read the Harry Potter series. I was not a big reader growing up, but my sister had all the books. So I have this like offhand memory of reading this first one, but I don't know if that's real or if I just made that up in my little tiny brain. So I'm excited to finally get to read these and have these beautiful edges. I was telling Nathan that the Mina Lima versions of these books are absolutely gorgeous and I wish I could buy those, but they only made the first three books in the Mina Lima design and they're not making any more um at least Mina Lima isn't apparently there's another publisher that is going to try to complete the set but I have a feeling it's not going to
going to look the same and I would be really upset if I didn't have like the full set that looked all the same plus these ones the original books do the same thing I think but it creates like a really pretty image when you put all of them next to each other so finally excited to get to read these look how cool it looks in here here are all their Halloween drinks and for all of my Colombians they do have a drink with aguardiente in it I just said um, the bit about how there's drinks with aguardiente in it and Nathan goes all the by blood. I gotta do it. He's like, I'm Colombian, I have to get it. <laughs> they also have a couple of bar snacks, so you don't just have to come here and drink. Here are drinks. Loki Nathan's looks a little bit boring. Most of them come in these really fun cups. There's someone next to us that has a skull drink, and then Nathan's just came in a tiny little, little basic cup, but that's okay. So I completely ignored the fact that mine has not only tahini in it, but also a pair of habanero strawberry. She's a little spicy. We ended up getting some fries. Yeah. Nathan got a second drink and look how cool it looks. Hopefully this rain isn't too loud, but that was actually really fun. I will say the only thing is that the music was like kind of loud and it was punk rock music, which is just not what I listened to. So I was getting a little bit of a headache in there, but still really fun vibes. The drinks were really good. I think I like mine the best, even though she was a little spicy. The two that Nathan got were interesting, I would say, but really fun vibes. There was also someone who got this big like cauldron as we were walking out and the bartenders made like such a show of it. So highly, highly recommend if you're in Orlando and are looking for just a way to get into the Halloween spirit. Highly recommend. I realized I forgot to end the vlog after we left Nightmare on Orange, but we've been back home now for a little bit. I am just finishing out my night with some reading, but hopefully you guys had some fun running around Orlando with me today doing some fall and Halloween activities. So Thank you guys so much for watching. If you live in Orlando or anywhere in Central Florida really and have other fun Halloween fall activities that you know of, please let me know because I am dedicated to doing as much fall and Halloween as possible until October 31st. But like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.